Hey, Wade McMaster here from designwebidentity.com. Uh, if you haven't guessed it yet, today I'm looking at uh, how to create a stunning WordPress theme using Divi 2.0. Divi 2.0 is just a customizable WordPress theme from Elegant Themes that basically allows you to, once installed, sort of customize your website and get a really stunning look, uh, really take a lot of control over the look of your website. This is done through some basic customizations and also the really cool uh, page building uh, feature they have on their theme which allows you to create some really cool and slick looking little websites. So why am I actually using the Divi theme? Well I do use a lot of customizable themes but one thing I find about Divi is it's really easy to use but above all it has some really impressive uh, visual effects and animations and things you can add to your website just straight out of the box. Uh, all the while it's still lightweight uh, so it loads very quickly and uh, that just makes it perfect for creating squeeze pages or sales pages because you can build pages with the page builder it's just specifically for this purpose it's really quite easy plus when you do buy the package it comes with Divi you do get access to all of the elegant themes 87 themes that's every single theme that they sell on their package comes with this and it doesn't really cost a lot of money you'd be expecting to pay uh, this much for the theme alone and of course there's also the option for the plugins so if you're wondering what to expect from these videos, uh, I've basically put four videos together going through this Divi theme. The first one is going to focus on the basic customization of the theme, just like the outer sort of uh, bits and pieces of uh, your WordPress theme. The second is going to be on creating an email feature box you can use to collect email addresses and grow your email lists uh, from your visitors. And the third video is going to explore a few of the modules uh, available to you in the Divi page builder. And the fourth video is going to be exploring a few more modules. So that way you get a good idea of the variety available to you when you use the theme. Okay, so this is our little blank slate we're going to start off with. It's a simple little test site I put together, more or less just for the sake of creating videos. There's no real information on there, just bits and pieces I've thrown in there, little dummy bits of text. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at just... Uh, the, mainly the page builder and customizing a really awesome layout and page using the Divi theme. So, because the strength of this theme is the page builder, um, while you do have so, some basic uh, theme customization options, there's not a lot when it comes to your general template. It's more of a page by page setup. However, you can save page layouts and reuse them and that sort of thing. Um, but as you can see, we've got a very basic sort of layout here we're going to start off with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some branding on here, get my logo and that sort of thing going. So I'm going to go to the Divi theme options down the left here. And we're not going to go through everything because there is way too much to cover in a, in a video without it going for an hour plus. So I want to keep it pretty neat and tidy. But you can sort of see what you've got here. We've got the logo. We can upload a logo, a fav icon, which is a little icon that goes up here. Uh, the fixed navig the navigation bar is just this thing up here. As we scroll down, that nav stays up there. You can turn that off. Um, and just got a few little options. Uh, you can input a MailChimp API key or AWeber. So that way, if you want to collect email addresses, you can, that sort of thing. Uh, you can put in all your social media profile URLs, and they will all appear down the bottom of the page here. You can turn these off too, by the way. Uh, so you've got a fair few options on navigation. You'll see that we can turn pages on and off simply by clicking on them. Uh, layout settings, things like, uh, which I just want to explain the post info, like you can turn off the author and date, turn it back on, that sort of thing. Show comments, you can choose to turn that off. Thumbnails, you can set up ads, your SEO, that sort of thing. This is sort of more, more of the boring stuff, the stuff you'd expect to find in a pretty good theme. Um, but we're going to have a look at the customization. So we're going to start off by uploading a logo. So I clicked upload image and we get this uh, little image uploader from WordPress. Select files. So I've got a nice little logo here somewhere. I'm just going to resize this so you can see what's going on. So we've got a logo. This is just a just a general little logo I'll put together for this video. Okay. And we're going to use for logo. Okay, so now we've got a logo. We're going to save our options. And now we're going to move on. So we're going to go to customized on the left here. And you see I've got my logo here. And we still more or less got the basic layout. Of course the sidebar is gone because the width has been uh, sort of shrunk to fit this uh, customized sidebar. So we're going to zoom out a little bit here. You see we've got a really basic layout 
Um, now, once again, we're not going to go through absolutely every single bit and piece. You'll notice we've got the same options down the bottom here that in the usual WordPress theme, such as setting up your first page, the widgets you want to play with. Um, but the first thing we're going to look at is uh, just a general rundown of what we've got. So obviously, you've got the option to change many colors on your website, link color, footer background, that sort of thing. You're you know, the, basically every little bit and piece, active menu, your navigation, and of course you've got some little theme settings here, different styles of the theme you can use to further customize the look that you're after. And of course, fonts, we can go through and change the fonts. Uh, you've got quite a selection there, as you'll notice. Um, you don't really need me to go through all those. And we've got some sort of default uh, schemes you can go through that'll set up a few uh, colors, that sort of thing, orange, pink, so then we'll get back to default and uh, we've got a background image. So I'm going to start off first is uh, I'm actually going to go back to colors. And uh, I think first thing I want to notice is this logo is a little bit light for this white background. So I'm going to actually change the primary navigation background. You can see here, I'm going to make it uh, somewhat of a gray. So that way we can see that logo. Now you might notice that these items here are actually quite hard to read with this color. And that's actually not a big deal because when we go down to theme settings, we can change a primary navigation text color from dark to light. And there you can read them. So it's very, very easy to customize. As you can see, you've got a nice little, uh, that's a that's a one very basic step. Um, of course, the content you put in there into your posts and also the uh, your sidebar will also have an impact on how your website looks. Um, but there's actually a few other really cool low, uh, little options that you have with the layout of the Divi theme. So I'm just going to scroll down to background image here and I'm just going to upload an image. This one will do. So what's actually going to happen here, uh, I'm also in Australia, so our internet connection is very slow, just in case you're wondering why things are taking a bit of time. I'm going to upload this image. And when I first choose a file and insert it, you actually won't be able to see it, which seems a bit uh, seems a bit silly, but we'll, we'll get into that later. So I'll choose that image, zoom out a little bit, and you'll notice we still just have this white background, this gray navigation bar, which remains fixed, as we were saying before. But yet over here, it has a background image. So the reason you can't see is because we're using full width layout mode. And there's actually a couple of modes here you can choose. Now, a lot of people like to have boxed websites a lot of people like to have full width style websites like what we got here. But what we're actually going to do is turn on box mode. And you'll notice that we have a boxed in website with the background here. Now you may notice also we've got some options here with the background image. You can choose to center it, have it right aligned, fixed. Um, so that way as you scroll, the background stays where it is. So you've got a few basic options there to do what you want with that background. So you can see straight away there, we've got a nice little sort of setup. Um, one of the other things we can do, if we head back up to theme settings, this navigation bar, we can actually change the header style to centered, and that puts the logo above the navigation, so you get this cool little uh, centered navigation at the top there, that if you want to change the look of your site a little bit more again. Obviously, you might want to choose a, a larger file for your logo or something like that if you're going with this option, um, but I think that sort of looks pretty cool. One of the other options you actually have is you can choose to show turn on and off certain settings, have a vertical navigation, which is pretty cool. And if you've got the box layout like we've got there, it'll just sit to the side of all your information. Or if you actually turn off the box layout, it'll sit to the very left of the page while you scroll up and down. And uh, yeah, of course, we can still change this back to default. This becomes left aligned. So you've definitely got a handful of different uh, configurations you can use with this. And then it's simply a matter of using different colors, uh, background colors to give it that real final touch to get it looking the way you want. Also, one thing worth noting is that, um, which we won't get into, is that everything in the Divi theme, you can actually add uh, IDs and classes to for those of you who know CSS. So you can actually, there is a section in your Divi options to insert custom CSS. So I'm gonna just go back to the standard nav for now. I'm going to save and publish that. And of course, you'll notice here, things will change when I hit refresh. And we've got that layout that we put together. Okay, so the next step, we're actually going to put together a page that um, has 
a few different, a few of the different uh, options that Divi has. Now, Divi is actually really powerful in uh, that it allows you to build some really awesome pages. There's a lot of really cool features. So if you're looking to create sales pages or squeeze pages, anything like that, you can actually get a get a really professional and awesome looking page just with a few little clicks and a little bit of uh, time spent tinkering around, as opposed to paying someone else to do it for you. So we're going to go into uh, page builder so we're going to exit this so what we're going to do is we're going to open a new page okay now we have a new page now you'll notice that we've got nothing uh, particularly exciting here we just got the the standard wordpress builder there uh, the WordPress uh, page builder and what I'm just going to do I'm going to pop in some uh, what's called lorem ipsum just some dummy text on the page here paste and uh, we're actually just going to publish that page since this isn't a live website and it is just a uh, test page I should probably actually give the page a title just and publish it again so we're going to call this Divi page update Okay, we go up to the website here, refresh. Now we're going to click onto the Divi page. Okay, and you'll notice we've got our Divi page, a little bit of text, absolutely nothing exciting. Uh, we've got our little background image down the bottom there, which actually shows up at the between elements on the page, but really nothing fancy so far. So now is when we're going to start having a real powerful play with the page builder. So to continue with us and have a look into the page builder, which is really uh, the most impressive part of the Divi theme, uh, just check out our second video. Uh, the link is below in the description, um, and we'll go through all the bits and pieces. We're going to start creating an email opt-in feature box uh, before we go into videos three and four, which is exploring more of the modules. Uh, of course, if you want more information, you can head to uh, Design Web Identity dot com slash divi info or if you uh, simply want to go ahead and download the theme you can go to designwebidentity.com slash divi uh, this is an affiliate link uh, i do make a commission from it but uh, it is an awesome piece of software and this doesn't affect the price for you whatsoever thanks for watching